Welcome back to Lakeside Farm. Today we have ourselves a question. Can worms kill goats? That is the question that we are going to answer today. Thank you for always being here, watching our content. It's been long since we last shared. So we have ourselves a question. Someone lost goats and they were asking me, can worms actually kill goats? The exact answer is yes. But even before looking at the fact that worms can kill goats, what are the signs that can tell you that your goats have worms and how can you go about it before you actually get into that point of goats dying from worms? One of the ways you can tell that your goats have worms is anemia. And how to check them is uh, you check under their eyelids, under the eye. And if that part is white, that definitely means that your goats have worms. Why? Because when worms are in the stomach, remember they are feeding on the same things that the goat is feeding on. They are busy sucking on the blood and they are busy sucking on the nutrients that this goat should be using to create a better health for itself. So if you don't take care of the worms, definitely your goats will become anemic because they are sucking on the blood of that animal. And that is one of the signs that your goats have worms. Weight loss is also another way of knowing that your goats actually have worms. Goats will keep eating, but they will not be putting on weight. Why? Because whatever they are eating is not just for them, but also for the worms in the stomach. The worms take a very big toll on those goats, and they are sucking on the nutrients, sucking on the blood, and definitely the goat will start losing weight. Just like us humans, when you're sick, there is no way you can put on weight because the sickness is taking a toll on you. So even goats suffer the same kind of life. When they have worms, they keep on sucking on their blood, sucking on the nutrients that this goat should be enjoying, and in the end, this goat will lose weight. So that's also another way of telling that your goats have worms. You will, the goat will lose weight, the goat will be slow in movement, it will not be healthy and playing around. That means that your goat has worms. There's what we call bottle jaw. Uh, I recently visited someone's little farm and uh, their goats had something bulging under the, their, their jaw here. And when you touch it, it feels like there's a lump of water just below the jaw. But bottle jaw is also a nutrition deficiency. And this nutrition deficiency is caused by worms that are sucking on the nutrients of your animals. And as a result, the, the goats will have that bottle jaw here. It's just like you see in humans, when you're lacking some nutrients, people develop goita. This thing that bulges around the neck. So goita is due to lack of some nutrients in a human. And for goats, that bottle jaw is a deficiency of nutrients and it's caused by worms that are sucking on the nutrients of your animals. The rough goats are also a sign that your goats have worms. Healthy goats and goats that have a good nutrition will have shiny skins. And those shiny skins are a symbol that your goats are healthy. If the goats' skins are being rough, not because they've been walking in bushes or anything, but always rough, just know that those goats have worms. Why? Because these skins cannot glitter or shine if the nutrition is poor. And this poor nutrition is not actually caused by the fact that you're not giving these goats enough to eat. It is caused by the worms that are taking a toll on its goat. They are always sucking whatever you're giving. And we know that one of the nutrients that actually makes goat skins shine is protein. So these worms are sucking on the protein and all the carbohydrates and everything that you're feeding your goat. And in turn, it makes your goats to have rough skins because the nutrients that are supposed to be making these skins glitter is being instead enjoyed by those worms in the stomach. So that's a sign that your goats have worms when you see those rough skins appearing on your goats. But let's ask ourselves, how are these worms transmitted from one goat to the other? Worms are passed through poop. And how this poop transmits worms is when goats drop their droppings where there is grass, it is the eggs that are passed out. And those eggs will hatch from such a ground where there is grass and when they hatch, they come onto the grass. Now these other goats innocently will come and eat that grass. When they eat that grass, they take in these swarms and they start multiplying in their bodies. So how do you avoid that? That's why it's very important for you to have a clear playing ground where there is no grass. 
because whenever these goats drop their poop and it's cleaned away, everything goes. And remember, the sun will be shining directly onto that ground. For those of us who live in Africa and the sun is always here most of the time, it will always be drying up those eggs and they clean them off and they will not be transmitting worms from one goat to the other. So ensure that you have a clear exercising yard, no grass around the exercising yard or in the exercising yard or even under the house where they stay. Make sure that it's always clear. Don't allow grass to grow there because whenever a goat that has worms drops its poop and it contains eggs of those worms, they will hatch, get onto that grass, another goat will eat it, and they will have worms. Another way that these worms are transmitted is through poor hygiene. When you leave the exercising yard or the goat's house dirty, these worms will now start regenerating or reproducing from in there. Remember, goats just want to eat everything. And most of the time, when you put food in their feedlot, it, they will drop some outside and they come and eat this food that has dropped down. Remember there is poop there that has hatched eggs of worms and when they eat and it has already gotten onto this food, definitely they are going to get worms. So one other way of avoiding to get those worms is making sure that your hygiene is superb. Always keep the goat house clean and the exercising yard clean. Overgrazing or repetitive grazing in the same area can also cause worms. How? Your goats will go graze on that area today. A goat that has worms will drop its poop there with these eggs and then they will hatch. Tomorrow you find that those same worms are on the grass that they are going to eat. When those goats eat it, definitely they have to get worms. And we know that when they are grazing this place repetitively, the grass is not going to grow higher. And remember, these worms always like to be low on the ground. And because the grass is not going to grow higher, they are always coming and eating on the same grass where they dropped their poop and all the worms. They will be eating those eggs, they will hatch in their stomachs and eventually you will have worms. So it is very important for you to ensure that you don't overgraze on the same area repetitively, especially for people who have smaller grazing areas. And for people who are doing zero grazing, it's even worse. You have to be very, very clean because every time these goats drop their droppings where they are eating from and this grass most of the times falls out of the feedlot and you don't clean that place, that means you're not going to be safe from worms. You are going to be constantly getting worms and constantly getting worms and that will be a very, very big challenge for you. So going back to our question, do worms kill goats? Definitely. Worms are considered a disease. It's actually not just a, a normal disease that you can vaccinate or what. It is something that is staying within your gut. And they are eating from whatever your gut is eating. And they are multiplying from inside there. The more they multiply, the more this gut, this gut begins to suffer. And eventually the gut will lose all the blood because you know these worms cause anemia. The more they cause anemia, this gut will lose a lot of blood. The gut will lose a lot of energy. Its nutrition will go down. And because all these are affecting the goat, eventually what you have is death. There is no question about that. You will have goats dying if you do not deworm them. So, so how do we get to treat these worms? The clear path of treating worms is deworming. But this video has been long enough. I can't say it all in this one video, but I'll have a second part to this 